The two device settings I want to be able to show you how to set are your mouse and your speaker's volume. First of all, the mouse. Click on the Start button, go up to the Control Panel, and it's right there. Just click on the mouse link, brings it up. First of all, the uh, Buttons tab. We've got the double click speed and you can test it over here by double clicking on this folder. Right now when I double click on it, it's pretty good about opening the folder. However, if I'm not good at double clicking or I'm really slow, I may want to decrease the speed so it doesn't take me as much speed to open up a folder. So if I go all the way over to slow, I could double click. I mean, I could click once and then wait 10 minutes and click again and eventually it would close. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but you get the idea. Or for an April Fool's joke, go to somebody's computer and set it all the way to be fast. And when they try to double click and open up their computer, if they're not fast enough, they'll never get the thing open. Well, that's pretty mean, so I'm not going to do that, okay? In any case, let's pick a few more. Go to the Pointer Options tab and we've got our select a pointer speed. If you want to be able to go fast, so in other words, to jump from one point over here to over here real fast, you may want to go faster, or if it just jumps around constantly too fast, then you may want to slow it down. However, be cautioned. Don't ever go down to slow, the ultimate slow, because otherwise, if you ever want to change it, well, it's going to go so slow, this is how slow it's going to be. And I'm just annoying you in this training video because I'm so slow. Okay, you get the point, right? So change your speed here. Down below you have your visibility. You can actually leave a trail when you check the box. I won't because this video is not going to be able to handle it. But when you check the box and click apply, when I move my mouse, you can see it leaves a shadow of uh, trailers here. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. Next, take you to the hardware and sound. Come up here and click on the sound link. There are my speakers. Select it. So if I can't hear anything through my speakers, well, they may not be plugged in or it may have a frayed cord or this may be the issue here. Go ahead and select it. Then come down here and click on Properties. And then come up here and click on the Levels tab and drag your Volume or Play Control. They're synonymous here, basically. They do the same thing. You can have it at 100% or decrease the volume if it's down, way down below and you have to really crank the uh, volume on, on your stereo. Then you can crank the Play Control here. That way you don't have to turn the volume up on your stereo so high. Of course, you have your microphones, your uh, digital inputs. You can change the volume on those as well. You can also come up here and click on the balance button and deal with your left, right, or center channel. And if you have, what, Dolby 5.1 surround sound or 7.1, then you have your subwoofer, your rear left channels, your rear right. So my left and my right, I just leave them all at 100% and then be able to control my volume on the actual stereo itself. Then I have to worry about what's set up here on my uh, computer. So I'm fine with that. Click OK. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.